Hey, this is Steve from Arc Academy and today's project what we're going to be making is a horseshoe wine rack. Now we're going to be doing a little stick welding today. So for this project we're going to be using the Hobart Stickmate 160i. Now our wine rack is going to be a wall hanging wine rack. So most of what we are going to do is going to be flat position to weld the base together. Now when you're talking about flat position and butt joints, what we want to do since this is quarter inch thick material, we want to prep our material by chamfering all the connection points. We want good fusion and good penetration into the material. Now we, our base to go up against the wall, I'm going to have two screws holding this into the wall. So two of these guys have pre-drilled holes in them. So that's obviously going to be the holes that take the screws. Now the other two are going to connect in the middle. So that's how we're going to make our base. Now, a little bit more prep. Uh, we're, we're here in Chicago. We love our Chicago flag. So we're going to use some of the stars off the Chicago uh, flag just to add a little bit more creativity and nuance to the base. And then we are going to do a little horizontal position welding uh, with our other horseshoes. So let's get started by clamping our material to the table. We're going to start with one horseshoe with a hole and the other horseshoe with a chamfer at the tip. They're going to come together like so, kind of make a figure eight style. I'm going to be using a 6013 stick electrode, eighth inch, and then I'm also going to be set for about 125 to 130 amps, just to make sure I get some good liquefaction and penetration into these, into these horseshoes. So let's gear up and get rocking. Warning. Read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. So now what we're going to do, now that we have our two figure eights, we're going to weld these together like so. And then we're going to have four tiers that we're gonna weld in horizontal position that act as our hangers. So we're gonna clamp this to the table. Here's an easy way to line these up. Just get a piece of angle iron. Put them together like so. And as soon as they're lined up to your liking, I'd say right about there should do it. We're gonna lock these into place so they don't wander away on us. There's one. There's two, so you can remove that. And now we'll put just a nice, nice heavy duty bead right down the middle of that, that chamfer there. All right, so now that the back is flat, we've ground down our welds, everything looks nice and pretty. What we wanna do, at this point, before we put our hangers on, we actually want to put our stars in the middle because it's going to be much easier to line it up uh, without the hangers on there. So we're going to essentially flip this back over like so. I've already prepped some quarter inch pen pencil rod to fit right into the middle of this guy right here. So we're just going to tack these on the front and on the back grind it down so it's nice and pretty. Once again, uh, we are gonna clamp these guys down because we don't want this rolling around on us while we're, we're trying to do this. One clamp should do it. Right there. And then we can use a magnet to hold this guy in place. So I wanna aim for the center. And I'm just eyeballing this. Uh, I'm not measuring, it's just Eyeballing the center looks good to me. That's all you need. Make sure that stayed in alignment. It did, so we're good. Cover. And there it is. Move on to the next one. So, very simple. Got our pencil rod. Line it up with the other one. Put your magnet down. Kind of get the alignment in there. That one's a little shorter. That's okay. We'll we'll fill that in. 
that. One more time. So now this guy moves around just a little bit. We can just push it over to the point where we like it. There it is. Kind of put the magnet right in the middle so we can line it up. And I'm just gonna hold it in position. Our, our stick is really short at this point, so I can just hold it down with the edge of my hand and then put a little tack in there. So cover up. All right, so now, same drill. We wanna grind these uh, tacks down uh, so this back is nice and flat so when we hang it on the wall, it's not gonna be wonky. Uh, and then we'll put our stars in place. So that's what we're gonna do next. With this still upside down, facing down onto our welding table, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start lining up our stars. So we wanna line up the stars. I'm gonna, we're just eyeballing this. What we wanna do is just line it up so it's centered in the middle of our horseshoe and we're just gonna put a tack on each side. These stars are only 16 gauge. So if I go 130, 125 amps, I'm gonna burn through this a little bit. So I wanna dial it down. I'm thinking about 90 amps should do the trick just for a couple of tacks on either side. And then we'll move on to the next, the next star. All right, so I'm gonna clamp this down so the star doesn't move around on me too much. And I have the correct positioning. May have to do two sides because that star is lifting it just a little bit. So, there. Just like that. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna repeat that same process for the next three stars. Okay, and there you have it. There is our base. Now each individual horseshoe is going to receive two horseshoes for our hangers. Now, this is pretty straightforward. What we're gonna do is gonna put this upright, just like so. And what we wanna do is clamp it down so it's not moving around on us. Clamp it on the star. There we go. Clamping it on the star works. There we go. Now, very simple. I'm just going to put these where I want them, and I'm just going to use a corner magnet to put it into a horizontal position, and I'm just going to weld them up. There we go. And make sure you remember to turn up your amps back to about 125, 130 amps, and put a nice heavy duty tack on these things. And of course, the last thing to do is clean up all the slag and get all the debris off the piece. So there you have it. After a little cleanup, we have a very nice four-tiered horseshoe wine rack ready to hang on the wall.